What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Hearth Flame Ogre Pond team for ranked regulation F. Now, Fire Ogre Pond's usage has been dipping down day by day in ranked regulation F, but I'm here to bring it up a little bit and use it and showcase it, considering I haven't really used this Pokemon in too, too long. Its other form, the Wellspring Mask, has been seeing all the love, and so I would love to get this Pokemon rolling and dominate with it again. Now, Ogre Pond over here is Rock and Mold Breaker as its ability, and obviously the Heart Flame Mask as its item. Every time we Terrastalize, this thing is going to get a plus one boost on attack, making it do insane amount of damage. It's got Ivy Cudgel, it's got Horn Leech, Follow Me, and Spike Shield, arguably the best moveset for any Ogre Pond. This team also features a bunch of other Pokemon such as Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt, a new addition in, into the Pokemon family, who I absolutely love in ranked battles. This one's got Protosynthesis, Assault Vest, Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, Thunderclap, and Terrorblast for its moveset. Other Pokemon on today's team, we got two support guys. We got Incineroar with its normal moveset, and we got Tornadus with a pretty normal moveset, right? Tailwind, Bleakwood, Storm, Sunny Day, Taunt, Covert Cloak. Yeah, that's pretty normal if I say so myself. Our final two Pokemon, one is going to be a big time physical attacker, that is going to be Urshifu with Unseen Fist and Focus Ash, great normal move set of Wicked Blow, Close Combat and Attack, and then last but not least, we got Golden Go, our special attacker for today's video, with good as gold, leftovers, make it rain, shadow ball, nasty pot, and protect. So, we'd love to get this Pokemon set up, once you get nasty pot rolling with this guy, he pretty much just sweeps the match from there. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Murkrow team. Now, Murkrow was used in earlier seasons of Scarlet and Violet, but since Tornadus came into the game, it really taken over. Murkrow, you don't see it too much. Tornadus is just a better form of it, but they got a low in Ninetales here. They could set the weather. They could also set up a War Belt, making me kind of want to go into Tornadus for lead, and that is definitely going to be our lead, right? We can Tailwind. We can get, get Weather Control. We can do a lot there. They also have Annihilate, they have Incineroar, they're rocking out with Metagross, and last but not least, they do have Raging Bolt. So I love Tornadus here for the lead, really, really solid. Could go into Incineroar of my own, or I can just go into Gold Go. Now, Golden Go is going to work pretty good here. We could also set up a Nasty Pot if need be, so those two are going to be the lead. We're going to bring Flame Ogre Pond, Fire Ogre Pond in the back end, and then last but not least, Urshifu is looking pretty good. Incineroar's not bad, Raging Bolt's not bad, they're all pretty good options, but I just feel as Urshfu has that upper edge, right? Has that upper edge. Big time dark moves to go into the Metagross, its speed's pretty solid here as well. On top of that, you got the fighting moves, we love it all around. So Urshfu, get on over here. Get on over here, you're joining the squad. Let's like grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But something that I haven't even had a chance to talk to you guys about because of my PC problems is the new Legends game, new Pokemon Legends. You got Pokemon Legends ZA, I believe it's called, or just Z, but it's Pokemon Legends based in the Kalos region. X and Y, cannot wait, super excited, especially because Mega Evolutions are coming back, which is so good, such a good idea, right? Bring them back, they are so dope, one of the best gimmicks they've ever came out with. Let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon you guys wanna see get a new Mega Evolution. I feel like Excadrill is a or AG Slash. Oh, now we're talking, right? But they end up going Murkrow and Raging Bolt, which I don't mind. I could Terrasilize into Steel if I want to. Is there really a point? I could maybe just go into Tailwind, which is probably our best bet. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Tailwind, and I'm just going to set up a Nasty Pot, right? Tailwind Nasty Pot seems like a simple, easy play for us. I mean, you could have Foul Play with Murkrow, but I would, I would guess you could set up Tailwind, right? I think we both go Tailwind for Tailwind this turn. Maybe I terrestrialize my goal to go after this. And no, he's just going to stay in here with Murkrow. So Murkrow looking to get after it. I wonder what Murkrow's going for. Snarl. Okay, so he's going to snarl up. I am still plus one, which is good. And special attack is going to drop. Thunderbolt's going to connect with the uh, goal to go, and we survive, which is great. So we could go for Thunderclap. That is definitely an option, a scary option for me. And something that I have to do now is maybe just... Definitely have to protect the, the Golden Go here. I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm and just protect him. Thunderclaps, mm, looking scary. It's looking real scary. So we're going to protect the Golden Go here. They did double down in me, which is just tough news. It is tough news. Murkrow is going to go for a Thunder Wave. Into Tornadus, which we dodge. 
That's a pretty big time dodge. Thunderclap is going to come across here and it's going to fail. The chances are he probably thinks we're going for either a swap or something else again. And at this point, I'm just going to go for another protect. I'm just going to go for another protect. I'm just going to get back a little bit more HP. I really, really, really want to go for her. I really want to go for a make it rain. So I'm just going to protect again. Actually, I'm going to nasty bot again. I'm going to nasty bot again. Go plus three. So I can just protect next turn. Because we know Thunderclap's coming out here. We already know Thunderclap's coming out here. No doubt in my mind. I'm just going to set up another nasty bot. Yeah, beautiful. Cool. So we already knew this was coming out here. I can now protect this next turn. We are slowing them down a little bit. Which is good. And if I can waste out my Tailwind and potentially set up another one, that'd be good. So nice spot setting up here yet again. We're going to get back leftovers. And now I could protect or, or hear me out here, guys. Or hear me out. I could attack right now. Because they're probably thinking, hey, he's going to protect again. I could maybe swap the Tornados. How many turns are left in Tailwind? Let's be honest. One. I think we stay and then we swap them next turn. Um... She's gonna go for a bleak wind storm, and I'm just gonna attack now. I don't think he thunderclaps me. I really don't. I really don't think he thunderclaps me. Bleak wind storm's gonna fly here, and Mercury goes for a snarl. Renatus dodges, and Golden Ghost soaks. So he's not going for thunderclap. We should outspeed him now. And this was just a great call on our end. So we're still plus two. We're getting off some big time damage before our Golden Gun dies out. That was just smart play for us. Outplaying our opponent. And he's going to take out my Tornadus, which kind of sucks, but still. Now he has Thunderclap ready to roll. Ready to take me out. And Thunderbolt's going to KO here. So that's fine. I mean, we don't have speed anymore. But at least my Golden Gun was able to get off and make it. So not a bad play. I probably should have swapped Tornadus that turn. I was thinking about it. I just didn't end up doing it. So now from here, Golden goes low HP. My team's Tailwind is gone. And I could bring out Ogre Pond. Or I could potentially Sucker Punch before he Thunderclaps, right? That is an option. I think I'd rather save the Ogre Pond, right? Yeah, I'd rather save the Ogre Pond. So I'm going to go into you right here. He's going to go into Nine Tails, which is a little bit of a problem. Considering now you can pretty much freely set up Aurora Bell if you want to. And luckily I do have Wicked Blow though. Pretty solid move. But I just want to check out this thing's speed, right? He's only minus one, so we do need to KO that thing before we can really do much. So I'm just going to go for a Wicked Blow here to finish off you. And on top of that, I'm just going to protect, right? It's a simple protect play because, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely Aurora Bell, right? It's definitely Aurora Bell Thunderclap. Or a War Bell Thunderbolt. So we'll protect the Golden Go. Hopefully he attacks the Golden Go again. And yeah, we are just in this Raging Bolt's head, right? Like this thing has been trying to KO me for so many turns now. And it's just not doing it. So a Roar Bell comes out here. Not a bad play for them. We are able to KO the Raging Bolt. We do have Wicked Blow that is critting left and right. And we still have our Focus Ash, which is great. Which is beautiful. So now this is going to be the turn where Golden Go dies. But still... Solid plays from us, protecting Nasty Plot at the right time, predicting Thunderclaps, all that good stuff. We should have swapped our Tornadus earlier in the match, and we would have been thriving. But now Annihilate comes out here, which is just a massive problem. We don't like this at all. We don't like this at all. So chances are they're going for a Blizzard, right? Chances are they're going for a Blizzard and a... I don't know, Rage Fist, Drain Punch into Urshifu. Do I have, what's my Terror type, actually? On Urshifu, it's dark... Do I want to use it? <clears throat> I don't want to save it for Ogre Pond here. Or do I want to send it here just for some big time damage? I think we send it here. I think we try to maximize our damage, to be honest. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Terrestrialize Dark, go into Wicked Blow here, and just go make it rain. Because if we can get rid of this Annihilate, the Ninetales I'm not too worried about, especially with Ogre Pond in the back end. So, we'll terrestrialize. We're trying to maximize our damage. And we'll see what they want to do. Because I don't believe they terrestrialize yet, right? I don't believe they terrestrialize yet. AC Wind's going to fly here. It is going to take off Sash. Are you going for Drain Punch here? Or are you letting Golden Go get off another turn? 
I'm curious to see here. Who are you letting get off a turn here? Rage Fist flying. I guess you're KO my Golden Go. That's fine. So Golden Go drops out. I would rather, thank God he went for Rage Fist in there. Because if he drain punched my Urshu, that would have been tough news too. Wicked Blow is going to fly here. How much damage does this do? Crit, so War Bell is not doing anything. And it's almost KOing. It's almost KOing. So if I had to guess, Sucker Punch probably KOs that thing. No problem through a War Bell. Right? No problem. So we can spam Sucker Punch, right? And then just start spamming Ivy Cudgel. That's definitely a possibility. Right? Their, their Tailwind's gone, so making me pretty fast. Nine Tails is rather fast, too, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, Ivy Cudgel definitely in play. So I'll go for Sucker Punch here. And I'll just go for an Ivy Cudgel into the Nine Tails slot. Cool, so good calls for us to terrestrialize that Urshu. Just get off as much damage as we can. So he ends up going for probably a bulk up here. No big deal. And he's going to Encore me into Sucker Punch, which is fine. No big deal. No big deal. And bulk up's going to fly here. So they do have a shot. We are Encored into Sucker Punch. Ivy Culture going to fly here. How much damage is it doing? At least half, right? Correct? Yeah, beautiful. So we're at least half in there. That's huge. He is going to get back this lovely leftovers HP. And I'm just going to go for another Sucker Punch. So he's forced to go for another bulk up pretty much, right? He's forced to go for another bulk up or protect. If not, Sucker Punch is KO. So this isn't bad because I don't think he can KO me. I do not believe he can KO me. And at this point, if I can just KO Ninetales this turn, once Encore ends, I can just follow me and go for a Wicked Blow. And did they quit? I think they quit. Or my software closed. I don't know, but that was such a good match. That was such a good match. I think my software closed, which is ridiculous, right? Wow, it did. That's crazy. Let me know in the comment section down below, because I think we're, we were going to win that match. Let me know what you guys think. So, guys... I don't know what to do about that one. Count it as a loss considering my game closed out, but I'm almost positive we were going to win that match, right? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to count that as a win because all my better judgment. We were winning that match, no problem. We had Sucker Punch encored into to take out that Annihilate. Um, I don't think Alola Ninetales was able to KO either of my Pokemon that turn, so we were just going to go for a nice little, uh, what is that even called? Ivy Cudgel to finish it off, and then it just would have been a 2v1. So, I think we would have won that one. I'm counting as a win. We're sitting at 1-0, but we're now hopping into our second match, going up against an Iron Crown team. With Indeedee for the little combo, they also have Sandstorm, Hippowdon, then they're rocking out with Shen Pao, Excadrill, and Blaziken. So, Blaziken pairs up with the Shen Pao, Indeedee pairs up with the Iron Crown, Hippowdon pairs up with the Excadrill. So, we're definitely going to need some speed here. I'm going to go Tornadus here, turn 1. We can get Weather Control and speed from that. Really do like that. As our second Pokemon, we could go into Gold Dango, or we could go into Ogre Pond. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond, especially if they do end up running Sandstorm. We could then just go into like Sunny Day and just have Ogre Pond do ridiculous amounts of damage. So I'm all about that. I'm going to go in with both of those. And then in the back end, we're going to bring Urshifu because it's such a good Pokemon up against those Psychic guys. And probably Incineroar, right? Probably Incineroar. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So if they want to go into the size spam, we can just double swap into our dark types, kind of dodge any expanding force problems, and then just start getting after the match that way. So that's something I really, really like. But yo, that last match was so good. Coming down to the wire, it did look like we had it. But again, anything could happen. They could have made like some different play. Could have messed me up. They could have just went for a moon blast in Urshfu and made it a 1v1, right? But still, at that point, I feel like we win. I feel like we win. I feel like my Ogre Pond can do enough damage because we did have that Annihilate really, really low. So, again, on my better judgment, I say we win that match. We're 1 0. So, they end up going into these two guys right here Speed Boost Blaziken alongside with Shen Pao. Um, I could go for a Bleak Wind Storm here. He could end up protecting. Uh, I'm trying to think what he could potentially do to me, right? He could go He could go for Ice Spinner. Uh, could Terra Steel, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I doubt you go for a Fire Move into me right now so i'm just gonna terra steel and honestly i'm just gonna go into bleak wind storm ivy cudgel and just look to get rid of this thing because blaze king could protect here blaze king could definitely protect so i'm gonna terra steel i could see an ice spinner flying in this slot um i think we should be fine and i doubt you go for a fire move so if i can get off this bleak wind storm and ivy cudgel pick up ko onto shen pao then set up tailwind next turn we could be sitting in a rather decent position 
So Iso Crash is fine, so good call for us to Terra Steel here. And what's Blaze King going for? I don't even know, but it's taking some damage to this Bleak and Storm. It's taking a lot of damage. That's the only problem with Blaze King. Gotta be Rocket Boat with that. Such a late. It is such a late, late week. So we pick up the KO there. We're gonna pick up the KO here. Double KO to get things started here in match number two. Let's go. Let's go. So Ogre Pond ripping up here. Perfect tarot for us as well, making a good call. And we're off to the races. So that's exactly why I tarot, right? Ice move wanted to be able to set up a Tailwind next turn, but I want to attack this turn as well. So when DD comes out here, and let me guess, Iron Crown, we have double dark types ready to go. Ready to go. But at this point, you probably have Water Terror on. Let's be honest, you probably have Water Terror on that, uh. On that Iron Crown. And I think from here, we might just want to set up a sunny day. I kind of want to set up a sunny day, right? And just drop a, uh. An Ivy Cudgel. So I'm gonna go sunny day. I am gonna Ivy Cudgel into DD because, to be honest, I think Iron Crown terrestrializes in the water. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious here, right? It's pretty obviously obvious, especially in a new season. I'm playing some lower rank players. The reads are pretty simple. Yep, nice little water terror type. Nice little water terror. Easy, man, easy read. So water terror coming out all day here. He's gonna go for helping hand expanded force, which I don't mind too much. I don't mind that too much. Sunny day's gonna pop. And expanded force, are you gonna outspeed me, Iron Crown? I hope not. No, you don't. Cool. I don't, I don't care if these, both my Pokemon die out here. I really don't. That Laker back in Pokemon. So Expanded Force is going to fly here with Helping Hand. That's some damage. Yeah, that's a double KO. So we got off some big time damage. Um, I get to bring out my Urshifu and my Incineroar. You can't expand Force into them. And things are looking pretty good. Pretty good. So that was more of a sacrifice play. Just get off damage before I bring out my Pokemon. No expanding Forces allowed. You could go for Tachyon Cutter. A little bit of an issue, but I think we should be fine. We can't fake out. I know that. And I think from here we just go for Wicked Blow, right? Wicked Blow into the uh, Iron Crown slot and knock off into Needy. I could end up detecting here, but I'm just going to do that and just go for a knockoff into Needy. Yeah, you could go for Follow Me. I hope you don't. I can go for Helping Hand. That's fine. Helping Hand Tachyon Cutter. The Wicked Blow is going to fly, do half damage, which is beautiful. Focus Blast coming in hot here. And Urshfu dodge it. Regardless, I had Focus Dash. It didn't really matter here. Say he hits me with that Focus Blast, I go down to Focus Dash. Totally fine, because then I just outspeed him. Wicked Blow it next turn. We already did half damage, and that is going to be match number two. So your boy, lighten it up 2-0 oh in today's video. Let's finish this one off. They end up just canceling. Let's go hop into our third. Your boy is is so back jeans is back killing it on the rank ladder but now in match number three we're going up against a combo i seem to struggle with a lot dandozo and tatsugiri tatsugami as i like to call it they also have glamora they got fluttermane and then last but not least they got indeedy and iron Crown. okay we just played that combo we ripped up against it hopefully we can do it again but again we're two and one we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record but main focus here is going to be Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. So who should I lead here? Ogre Pond, pretty solid. I like Urshfu for, for the guaranteed crits. So I might just go Tornadas and Ogre Pond. I actually really like that. They're going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Urshfu in the back end. And last but not least, um, could go Incineroar. Could go Ragey Bolt. I kind of like Ragey Bolt a bit better here, especially up against the Don Dozo. So Ragey Bolt, Long Neck Giraffe, Dinosaur, Brontosaurus, Electric Guy. You're coming on in here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a dinosaur, right? This is Paradox Forms and all the Entei, Suiku, and uh, Raikus are dinosaurs, right? I believe so because uh, Suicune's Paradox Form looks like a Velociraptor kind of, right? Looks like a dinosaur. But Entei doesn't really look like a dinosaur, though. I don't know. It's Pokemon. They're Pokemon, so <laughs> it's no big deal. They go Fluttermane, they go Glamora. Don't mind that. And from here, it could be Meteor Beam Glamour, which is eh, a little scary. Definitely a little scary. I think from here, it might be a Spiky Shield play. Speed's going to get heightened. Um, I think we just go Spiky Shield and we just go Tailwind this turn. I believe that's our play. As if I had to guess, Meteor Beam from Glamora is definitely dropping into the Oak Pond slot. 
easily drop it into the Ogre Pond slot. So I'm just going to spike shield up, put my walls up, read out this turn, see what they want to do here. Tailwind's going to get cooking. You get that speed boost for the next couple turns. All right. And Meteor Beam. Icy Wind. A little bit of Icy Wind happening. From Flutterbeam? Right? Yeah, from Flutterbeam. Looking to just drop the speed a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And you going for Meteor Beam? You're going for Mortal Spin. Okay. I don't, I don't mind that. I could set up Sunny Day if I want to. Um, Mortal Spin. Gonna get after it. Take some damage down. Um, I could Terra here. Rocking power gem meteor beam. You're scaring me, Glamora. You're scaring me. But after a moral spin, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna put my mask on. I'm gonna get after that. I'm gonna get after that. And I'm just gonna bleak when storm. I'm just gonna bleak when storm. Play it smart. So we know Fluttermane is not Sash, it's booster energy. Um Glamora did not meteor beam this. It dropped the mortal spin. Leaking for me to think maybe it doesn't have meteor beam. Maybe it has power gem. I don't know. I'm scared, but I'm still gonna put this mask on. Look to do a ridiculous amount of damage, right? <laughs> I'm just looking to rip up into Pokemon. We're gonna embody aspect up. Um, we got speed, so Ogre Punch should be faster than Fluttermane, correct? We can turn on faster than Fluttermane, so that's big. We get speed drops on this. Get some speed drops. We get a crit. No speed drops, but Ivy Cubs are gonna finish off Fluttermane. Cool, get rid of that, no problem. And as long as my Ogre Pond's fives here, that'd be beautiful, right? If I get off one more turn with, with this. Ogre Pond, be beautiful. So he's going for the Power Gen. Into Tornadus. We love that. 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 So that's huge here. Now I can bring out Raging Bolt. I could bring out Urshifu. And I think at this point, I'd rather bring out Urshifu. Just in case, like, Dondozo comes out here or something. We can just start ripping with uh, Wicked Blows here. Let's see. Is it Don Dizzy? Tatsugiri, it is Don Dozo. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We're gonna Ivy Cudgel right into this slot in case they don't swap. And if they do swap, we can just drop this lovely Wicked Blow. All right, that's fine. Because a lot of times people send out Don Dozo and then they just protect. Kind of play like, kind of play a game like that. Which is definitely an option here, but I'm just gonna play it safe by uh, going for Ivy Cudgel into the Glamour slot because I do believe KOs, even though it is not very effective. And no, he's just gonna withdraw. So Wicked Blow is still gonna fly. It's still gonna do decent damage, right? And I wonder who they're gonna KO. I think they're gonna Terrasalize on top of this too. Because sitting in front of a grass type plus one Ogre Pond is kind of scary. But they're gonna get their plus two stats on everything. Everything gets cooking. They still have Glamour in the back end. And I kind of wish we did go for that. That, uh... Point Leech, but... It is what it is. So Rocky Helm is going to chip up some damage on the Earth. We take off her Focus Ash. Ivy Cudgel going to miss because it was in the Tatsugiri slot. And you're going for an EQ. Can you soak that Ogre Pond? I think you can. You do. Beautiful. That is huge. That is huge because now I can just go for the Horn Leech. And on top of that, I can double down. And you can't really protect or do much. With a blow. Bang. Beautiful. Horn Leech coming out here. Finishing you off. So I think that's our last turn of Tailwind. Tatsugiri could be Choice Scarf, which could be rather annoying and put him in a solid position to actually win this because EQ did so much damage. It did. I kind of wish my Horn Leech came, came out first. Then I would have gotten back more HP, but it's whatever. Tailwind's gone. We might be forced to just go into Sucker Punches. We'll see. We'll see. So there's Glamour. Tatsugiri's just hanging out a little bit. Um. I could spiky shield. I'm terrified, man. Tatsugiri could be sashed. We think Sucker Punch could KO. I think it can. I think it can. My boy hits hard. He hits hard. Spiky shield. Man. Spiky shield coming out here. Spiky shield coming out here. And we don't get to see. I meant the spiky shield instead of follow me. That kind of hurts. You might be going for a double hitting move. I'm at the spiky shield there. Let's see what happens here. Muddy water. Yeah, I'm at the spiky shield there. That, that really hurts. So you're definitely choice, right? That's definitely a choice tattoo. Even spiky shield, it really wouldn't have done much for me. I just think after that big time EQ damage, once Tatsugiri came out here, because I believe it's choice, it was just ending. 
Yeah, I meant the spiky shield there instead of follow me, but it, it wouldn't have changed the outcome at all, I don't think. Right? Yeah, I don't think it would have. So he's got muddy water. If he has choice, he's choice in a muddy water, which isn't too bad. Um, I do have dragon pulse for that, but I think I have to... Actually, yeah, let's dragon pulse that, or do we attack you? I think I'm just going to attack Lamora and try to KO that, because that's choice. We can one-shot the Tatsubiri. We can one-shot it. And plus, it just protected, so we know he's not going to attack. We know he's not protected. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this comeback here. We are 2-0, so we are guaranteed ourselves a winning record, which is huge. And Muddy Water's fine. Yeah, this thing's choice. He's choice. We're soaking all oh, this. We could win this. Sludge Bomb coming in hot here. Not bad damage. No poison. Can Thunderbolt KO? It does. I think we got this one. I think we got this one. I thought Muddy Water would do a little bit more damage than that. But let's go. Rage Bolt's bulky. He's a bulky boy. He's a bulky boy. Looking like 3-0 because one Dragon Pulse should be able to wrap this one up. Up. But look at Tatsugiri's face. So funny. He finally uses Terra. Terra comes out here. <laughs> I love when that happens. You totally forget about it. So he Terrasalizes into Steel. Not bad. Not bad. But if you're choice, like I think you are, in the muddy water, you're not doing enough damage. You're just not. You're just not. What are you doing, 20? The 27 damage. We can soak up at least three more. Of so if Dragon Pulse going to fly here. Not doing anything crazy. Thunderbolt switching up to that now because you had a big time terror, but muddy water's just it's just not working. Now it's missing. And now it's missing. Tough news for you. Tough news for you. So Thunderbolt comes in here, cleans up the match. 3-0 perfect record for you guys. What a good way to start off the brand new season. And what a good way to come back into daily uploads. 3-0 perfect record. Rocking out with Fire Ogre Pond and this squad. Absolutely amazing. We had Golden Goat, we had Urshu, Rage Bolt, and Sinor and Tornadas. Every single Pokemon doing work and we grab ourselves a perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.